Okay, so this is just the uh, follow-up video for how to connect to Xbox Live through Windows Vista or 7. And basically, I've noticed quite a few comments, people are having problems connecting even when they physically uh, wired themselves in. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to go over what I do to overcome my problem that I have with connecting to Xbox Live when I first plug my Xbox in. Because sometimes I connect to a different router. Um, and then I come back to this one and it doesn't allow me to connect straight away so what I do is I've got it all plugged in uh, Ethernet cable from the back of my Xbox into the back of my PC with a wireless adapter connecting to my BT Home Hub which is a piece of shit anyway <coughs> as you can see here um, well I hope you can see um, in fact uh, I'll just stick this on record just in case you can't see the video. Um, basically, this is my capture card program. I'm just getting the preview through here. Um, I cannot connect to... Oh, well, I'm not connected to Xbox Live, and this is from turning my Xbox on. So if I go all the way to settings, system, uh, network settings, you can see it's wired in. I go to configure network. You can see I've been given an IP address. I've been given a subnet mask, but no gateway. And it's set to automatic. So... After messing around for ages and ages trying to get it to work, I finally figured out um, the way it works for me, and sometimes it doesn't work all the time, but hopefully this will help you. Anyway, what you're basically going to be doing is logging into your router through your browser, so in my case 192.168.1.254, uh, which is... Um, quite strange really because it's usually 192.168.0.1 that's usually the uh, home address of your router um, so if you don't know what it is search on Google type in your router name and model and then just type in um, admin or control panel or log into router or whatever so <clears throat> once you've done that and you're logged in uh, come to your Xbox and I'm pretty sure there's a way of finding out um, yeah, that's it. So, you want to go to additional settings, go down to advanced settings, host name, alternate MAC address, blah blah blah. And here you can see my MAC address ends in 7D. So, uh, just keep a note of that. And this doesn't really mean much, but what you want to do is just know the last sort of either two or four digits. Here it says 7D. I'm going to click done and just go back from that. And you can see on my BT Home Hub there isn't any MAC address connected where that ends in 7D. Now, it says here Xbox 360 and that uh, ends in uh, 74. Now I'm pretty sure if I just come and run uh, CMD here, <coughs> IP config forward slash all, this will just list all the details of your IP configuration. Um, basically, it's going to tell me my physical MAC address and that ends in 47. Now that has no bearings of any uh, MAC address listed here. So I'm just going to scroll down and just make sure there's nothing else, which I don't think there is. Uh, no. So even my PC doesn't have the MAC address on here. And it's, it's really weird, but what you've got to do is uh, remove this device, so the Xbox 360 under that MAC address um, you've got to re remove it from well this is what I have to do anyway, I don't know if it's going to work for you guys but I'm just going to put this video up and see if it does help you um, I need to come to settings and I need to go to advanced settings and you're going to have to find your own way here but essentially what you're looking for is once I've got through all this bullshit just trying to get to one thing um, here it says home network and it's going to give me a list of all the devices that are connected under my uh, BT Home Hub. Here you can see the what, what you're looking for is the wireless connections, so I'm going to be under this here. I've got like um, laptops, phones, Android phones, and then here it says Xbox 360 and that it ends in 74, which is the address. So I'm going to click on this one. and it'll tell me some information about it really what I want to do is just delete the device and then it'll say this will remove the device Xbox 360 permanently and at the same time not dead on, not smack on but what you want to do 
is uh, as soon as you click remove and hit yes on your Xbox go to additional settings and then click restore to factory defaults so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that first yes and click yes on here and it's going to remove it from the list of devices okay so just waiting for this to reconnect and now on the list of devices it's not it's not even connected so what I'm going to do now is just check my Xbox and this time um, it says IP address automatic keep that on IP address has changed the subnet mask um, stayed the same as far as I'm aware but the gateway has been added and uh, also the DNS servers and shit like that. So now, if I bring up the guy button, connect to Xbox Live, fingers crossed I'm going to be able to sign in. Okay, so um, if it doesn't sign in first time, which it might not do, um, oh, there we go. If it doesn't sign in the first time, Turn your Xbox off, turn it back on, this will reset it from, um, it just just reset it, sort of, I don't know the logistics behind it, but, like I said, turn it off, turn it back on, and you should be connected. So, just to recap, you need to remove the device from the saved devices list on your home network. Um, however you do this is down to you, because everybody has different routers. So, remove it from the router's saved devices list. And then also on your Xbox, uh, restore your internet settings back to factory defaults. And hopefully, either with a quick turn off, turn back on, you should be connected to Xbox Live using Windows 7 and or Vista to bridge the connection. So um, I hope this helped. If it didn't, leave a comment. If it did, again, leave a comment. And I'll try and help out those that are still having problems. But if it did work, um, please leave a comment saying it did and even a like because um, yeah I would really appreciate that so thanks for watching guys and good luck